Hello, my name is Nathaniel and I'm from the UK OSINT community, a not-for-profit company that's focused on growing and enhancing sovereign intelligence capabilities in the UK, but more broadly in the um, Western world. Um, today we're going to be looking at TikTok. Now, TikTok might seem like just another platform for dance trends and memes, but for investigators, um, journalists and analysts, it can be a real goldmine of open source intelligence. So today I'm going to walk you through four free tools that can help you extract insights, verify uploads, track activity and gather metadata, all from public TikTok content. So the first tool we're going to be looking at is from Bellingcat. Bellingcat is an incredible um, company and they produce and create a lot of very, very useful um, tools. So this first tool that we're going to be looking at, you can take a video URL and what you can do is you can extract the upload time of this TikTok video right down to the second. That's vital if you are looking to verify timelines, reconstruct events, or geolocate videos based on light, weather, or even background noise. It's very simple to use. All you do is you copy the video's URL, you paste it into the tool, and it will de generate a timestamp in your local time. It's simple but powerful, especially when paired with other verification techniques. So we're going to take the video of uh, the URL of this video here, which is a video of um, some cats. I'll play this video for you. Some very cute cats. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Bellingcat um, tool. So the tool is available on bellingcat.github.io forward slash TikTok hyphen timestamp. And we will provide a link to this in the video description. If you're viewing this on YouTube, it will be down in the description. If you're viewing this on um, social media, it will be uh, included in the, the top um, comments. So the tool is very simple. You just paste the URL of the, the video in, click on get uploaded date, and it will give you the, the time zone and the exact uh, uploaded date down to the minute. So the next tool we're going to be looking at is a cool tool called TikTok Downloader. So a lot of times you will want to be downloading videos, whether you're evidencing them, whether you're trying to um, create a timeline or whether you're trying to do geo int on those images on those videos so potentially to identify where they are and this site allows you to download TikTok videos mostly with a watermark a lot of these free tools will have a watermark um, but this website is tiktokdownloader.com and it's really important for evidence um, you know offline analysis or using the content in briefing or reports to have that content locally sometimes especially if you're looking at crime or other activities that are illicit videos will get deleted you can also archive um, you know clips this way um, so I will this tool is also very simple you just paste in the, um, the URL click on load video and it will give you the option to download the video as an mp4 and an mp3 you can remove the watermark but this um, costs a little bit of money so the next tool we're going to be looking at is the TikTok Creative Center. So TikTok um, on ads.tiktok.com forward slash business forward slash creative center forward slash inspiration forward slash popular forward slash hashtag forward slash PC forward slash EN. Um, obviously, we'll provide that URL. This is their um, ad network um, login portal for um TikTok and on it you can see video um, trends on hashtags on songs on creators and the use of this tooling is that it goes very very granular so you can see trends where there's you know seven or eight um, different tips um, different posts maybe per week or per month you can also see across different um, countries so you can search hashtags you can see how they've trended over time what types of content are gaining traction and which influence are pushing certain narratives um, so it's really useful for monitoring disinformation or um, influence ops, identifying kind of coordinated posting patterns and mapping the spread of hashtags across regions. Think of it as kind of a live look into the TikTok's cultural pulse. Um, it's really a very useful Intel um, dashboard. So what we will do here is we've selected the category vehicle and transportation. We're going to look over the last uh, 30 days um, and we're going to look at new ones um, and we're going to load uh, a couple more and we can see that the hashtag car enthusiast um, has recently gained quite a lot of um, popularity. We're going to click on see analytics and this will open up a new tab um, and it will show us the last 30 days in the United Kingdom. But we can look outside of the United Kingdom, especially if you're um, looking at kind of coordinated information warfare campaigns, you'll see that 
um, trends might start in you know a country in Africa and then spread more broadly to Europe. Um, and so we're going to look at Peru here, and we can see okay in the last six days there uh, in the last thirty days there's actually only been six posts on this, and we can see their interest um, over time trending here. We can also see the the popular popular videos. It also gives you um, a breakdown of the related interests, um, the age range, so the people that are posting um, about these hashtags. You can see the national, uh, global, um, regional popularity, um, and then also kind of related hashtags down here at the very end, and you can copy those and explore further. Now, the nice thing about this tooling here is you don't have to be logged into TikTok to utilize it, um, which means that it's you know a nice kind of easy to access piece of um, tooling. So the final piece of tooling that we're going to look at is um, called EXOLYT. And it's a great tool, really. It's free to register for a seven day trial. And what I've done is I've taken this original account, which had the cat videos and I've um, search the username of it up in here so that I can see um, a lot of top level information. So sometimes when you search um, on this um, company, um, they'll say this data is out of date and we need to go out and refetch it. And you can click on track account and get notified when they um, have regathered the information on this um, account. But you can see um, a lot of top level information. So you can see the total number of videos, total number of views. Um, you can see this over over time as well. You can see um, engagement and metrics. Um, if you begin to do a lot of investigations into TikTok accounts, especially um, ones that are artificially propped up, you'll very much find this tool useful because you'll see kind of sudden spikes or um, where these um, oftentimes AI slot networks are aggregating together to push a particular narrative. Sometimes it's, you know, they're just growing the accounts and posting cat videos. You can also get the geography of the account. So this account is based out of Taiwan. And there's a lot of different tabs here. You can see the specific videos. You can see specific metrics on their videos. You can see all of the hashtags that they've interacted with, the videos um, over over the weeks, the, when exactly they're posting, which can be very useful for identifying where exactly in the, the world they are, um, or at least their sleep schedule. Um, you can also do analysis on their followers. This will take um, a little while to, to load, but you can see the country um, breakdown. This type of data is not perfect, but it can be very useful and um, quite indicative. Um, you can see the um, growth of the account over over time and how that interacts with um, videos. Sometimes this they, we haven't gathered, the platform hasn't regathered this, so this tab might not be working. You can also see their interactions with sponsored content uh, along with um, playlists which are available publicly. So combining all of these tools, they're all free tools. Um, this one is the closest to a paid tool with a seven day um, free trial. You need to register with a business email. So you can't get that trial if you register with, um, you know, at google.com or at, uh, sorry, at gmail.com or at hotmail.com or anything like that. But these are four powerful tools for OSINT investigations. You can timestamp videos, you can download and archive content, you can analyze trends and hashtags, and you can track accounts over time. So whether you're in law enforcement, journalism, or threat intelligence, these tools are very useful to have in your um, arsenal and can help you dig deeper into the, um, what's increasingly becoming the world's most influential um, platform. Thank you very much for watching.